Thank you very much, viewers. My name is Kasim Oscar, and in this special edition, we will be speaking to a former Gambian international player who plays most of his trade in Finland and also a little bit in the German Bundesliga by the name Daudaba. Daudaba gets 11 cups, but he will give us more details about that. Welcome to the program, Mr. Ba, and thank you very much for granting us this special interview. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you so much for having me here. All right, Mr. Ba, uh, when we look at uh, your career in Finland, Hejeki Helsinki, in 2009, it was quite amazing for, for Daudaba. Ba. In 25 appearances, 8 goals scored with 8 assists. Phenomena. Yeah, it was like... Uh a very tough season because I remember when I moved to Hel uh, HJK in mm -hmm. 2007, uh, I went there for loan and it was like a three months loan because they have most of the time, most of their national team players playing their team. It's like they're one of the best team in Finland. So it was not that easy, you know, then I just tried to fit in. You know, I remember my first debut for the club, it was a UEFA uh, game against FC, that team you're talking about from Luxembourg. At the Zella. Yeah, so I, it was a big article, you know, in Finland, they just said whether I can fill the shoes to play in the Vegas Liga because they just, just take me from one league lower than the Vegas Liga. So it was my first game to play international level, but it was my first game to play in the highest level table in the league there in Finland. So I play my first game score and I assist one. So it was a good start for me. But after that six years, HJK couldn't take the, the, the yeah. league. So when we won in 2009, so it was a big thing. For after six years, they couldn't get the league. So when we won it, it was like a wow. So I have a good season. I remember I was one of the best players in the league there, you know, and in, the, in my club, you know, at, and in my club, I was the leading goal scorer too. So it was a good season for me. It was really a good season. As a right front player, 25 appearances, 8 goals, uh, one of the best players for, 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 for Dauda. For Dauda. How, how do you feel that? Yeah, it, it's helped me, like really, from that stage, because I, like I told you, I was playing in like championship. Sí. Then they just bring you straight away to the Vegas League and you, they put you in the first game like a UEFA Cup. Wow. You didn't have one experience in the top five highest football and straight away you just came straight away just to play in the Europa League. So it was a really challenging but I was prepared for that because before HJK takes me, we was in the FA Cup for the uh, Finland against HJK. Mm -hmm. You know, FA Cup, you can play from uh, uh, Premier League team, you know. So we was lucky to play against HJK in the final. Right. So we lost against one nil, and after that, they take me to Rome. But I think everything was a believing for me that I can do it. You know, if you went to Finland, you know, they usually call me like Banjulin Taikorin like the magician of Banyu, you know, with Allah's help, I was able to do whatever I think I can do <laughs> in my head with football, then if possible. So I was ready for it, and I was really, really prepared for the future of my career. All right, thank you very much. And from there, so many trophies have been won by Daudaba and HJK Helsinki. In Finland, one can say it was the best uh, for Daudaba. Yeah, it was the best for Daudaba because of I, I was not so lucky in okay. the Bundesliga Liga. because of I went to have my medical test after two days I signed for the deadline after another two days I play against Bayern Leverkusen after another two days I broke I break my knee so between the one week I couldn't play any more football but I was really happy that in HJK I win like three uh, league champion two FA Cup I was the leading goal scorer a couple of times there. And most of the Gambians who later play in Finland, every time the coach will contact me straight away and tell me, Dauda, what do you think about this? Dauda, do you know this player? Dauda? So it was a good represent for me. So you have been a reference? Yeah, because if you ask most of the players, Sohna, Omar Koli, all these players, they will tell me, you know, because of. Clubs used to call me and ask them about them. I tell, oh, they're good players, or they're good players. Because of sometimes the reputation you have there, you know. I was so lucky that I was able to play for HJK 
every game, okay. even with their national team players, with Lipmanen, I will always be in the starting league team. With Temo Puki, not with, I will always be in the starting team. Wow. So you want to play with Temo Puki? Those Temo Puki, if you put him and he sit here, he will tell you the reality that even HJK, they will tell you that if I don't play, I was the one of the players that coach will call me and tell me, what do you think about these other players for the Finnish national team? Wow. So I know them so well. Quite and nice. if you look at their videos we play in the YouTube for HJK past three years, you will see most of their goals they score, especially uh, Temo Puki, will tell you everything was on my leg. And if you ask about a lot of Gambians <laughs> who are living in Finland, they will tell you tell. about that. So I was really happy and I'm so lucky that there is some other Gambians who came after me. They just started to follow my footsteps there. Steps. So I was really happy about that. Okay, before you come to the Bundesliga move, mm. we still stick to, to Finland yeah, yeah. in 2005. Mm. I believe 2005 was the season you left the Gambia. Yeah, yeah. And you joined uh, JK Helsinki, yeah. being the top scorer. How many goals did you score in that particular season? Yeah, I think I scored like 23 goals, 17 wow. leagues goals, and I think about six... 23 F in all competitions? Yeah, yeah, three, six F F FA Cup okay. goals. Like I told you, because we came, we play in the FA Cup final too. Mm -hmm. So my first year, I was the leading goal scorer. I came from Gambia. I remember we was playing against Wally Dan Hawks. After the game, I met a white guy. He just told me straight away, oh, you good player. I'm going to take you to Finland. I was laughing. Really? Really. I was really laughing. Mm -hmm. I came back to home at my mom's place in Banjo. We was living there. I just met him. He's sitting with my mom there. He wow. told me that I'm not joking. So there you know he's very serious. Serious. Then I was sitting after one week he go, in the following week he bring all the papers. I didn't go to the embassy, I didn't go anywhere. Yeah. So everything was done. I was sitting, I get my visa, I get my contract here six months. So I just left to Finland. So when I arrived in Finland, in the first division, I was the leading goal scorer. Yeah. You know, and everybody started talking about Dauda. So I finished the, the half of the season and I went to loan for for head yeah. August 2011, Dada signed for a German Bundesliga, FC Osburg. The ambience or the joy back at home was huge. I could remember when I was going to school, yeah. was very happy with that because I'm a fan of football. But uh, we have just seen less Dada in the Bundesliga or less matches Dada with Bund in the Bundesliga rather yeah. against Bayern Leverkusen. What were you feeling before having your first debut or your first minute in the German Bundesliga? To tell you the truth, when I signed my my contract in against FC Oxford, I thought myself that I would play maybe one month, two months. I would play in Bayern or I would play in Dortmund wow. because I was ready for that. that because was we were, yeah, it was my dream because I already play in the Europa League. We was playing against Salka. I was playing against Raul Guntela, Drexa, uh, Matic. I play against all those players and I was playing for HJK. So and they able to sign me because I was playing really good. So I just tell them, what about if I have a lot of good players in FC Oxford around me? So my job will be less. So I'll be like those players like Mane and others because I remember that time I think Mane was in Salzburg or something like that. I'd yeah, be in, Salzburg, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Austria. In, in Austria there. So I know. So my dream was that you know that I'm here. I will make it happen there. Because I've, I always believe in myself. I never get scared. You know, people will know me that the only thing I have was football that God gave it to me. So, and I do extra training for the for the football. football. But I was really, 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 really looking forward. But you know, sometimes in life, it's hard to accept it. What what's happened? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Just injured like that. Just walking. It seems like somebody just take a scotch glass and just hit it on my knee. That's the way I stopped playing. Nobody kicks me, nobody touches me. So no, mean, not, the no only game you played in the Bundesliga was is against, against Bayern, Bayern Leverkusen. Because after Bayern Leverkusen, I was supposed to play against Hatta Berlin. And I remember my coach calls me and told me, you're going to start against Hatta Berlin. Wow. Hatta Berlin. So I was really happy and we was just doing some recovery training. Because the following day we have a training. Then after that, we will start traveling to, to Berlin. Berlin. And straight away from passing the ball, I fast and I step turn around and see that I can see inside my kneecap. No knee, hit? No hit, no kick, nothing. No collide? You know, it's sometimes I don't want to have this thinking. But that's too straight. 
Yeah, but if I think like so much strength, then I will stop having faith in Allah because I know that Allah has decided my things for me already. And maybe this was the best for me. You know, now I see it. I can see my mom. I can see my family. But there was a time that I was sitting, I was having like four operations or five operations. I was between the three years there. I couldn't walk. My leg was like my arms. You know, it was so stressful. So I am the one who canceled my contract. When I cancel my contract, yeah, when I cancel my contract, then I start walking. And I say, why not? Because I couldn't sleep. I couldn't play. I was walking in scratches. I was having oppression upon oppression. Then after, after, after cancel, cancellation of the contract, Dodoba gets to recovery. Yeah, I get the recovery. I get to play in couple of... can say there is magic in it? Uh, I don't want to mention that, but I know that after that I play another two seasons in Finland, in the top flight. Right. Which, which team? I play against, against uh, FC Coops with Omar Koli before he left to, 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 to Sandoria. Sandoria, oh. Yeah, before, before he went to Sandoria, he was in Jugoren, you remember? Yeah, 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 but he came. Uh, I was playing six months, like whole season with him there, yeah, in, in Finland. Then from there, I played to Mipa, it's like one and a, one hour from Helsinki. So I played like six months there. Then before I move away from Finland, mm -hmm. Kopebe, the team who takes me to Gambia, Gambia, they was trying to promote to second division because they relegate to second, uh, to the third division. division. So when I came, me, Mal. You know, you know, Mal, like uh, Jato's brother, yeah. and Matthew Mendy, he played for the national team, team too. Like, so we was there, so we we play a season, then we take the full team to the first division. So then I left to America, then I'm back at the home now. Wow, well, let's come back to, to 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 Germany. When when you got that horrible injury, your contract with Osborg was certain. Did you receive any messages from team players or from national teammates or even the then federation? No. Wow. No, especially in Gambia here. Mm. Because of... It was tough for me because of people don't, don't realize. At least because hadn't been... It was... Dodaba was not injured. Mm. We could have... Uh, right now, the record is there already. Gambia, yeah. Dodaba is the first Gambian to play in the German Bundesliga. Yeah, but I, I wanted to do more. Yeah. I really wanted to do more. Yeah. I wanted to even build hospital, build schools, you know, do a lot of things that I was doing on my charity charity at that time. Foundation. foundation. You have a charity yeah, foundation. I was having a foundation. I was in SOS. I have some, you know, even some documents. They send me some stuff that I was doing to them. So I wanted to do a lot for my country. You know, that pains me, you know, because it's tough. You know, and in Germany, at that time, you know, people will might think that you have money, but when you get injured in the Bundesliga, after six weeks, they will pick, they will stop paying you. Wow. Then you have to work with your insurance. So that's before you play, you need to get a, 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 a good insurance. insurance. So when I arrive, I sign my insurance. So after two days, when I get my injured, because my papers was in process so some of the insurance they accept it because of my injury it was so bad some of them they don't accept it. accept it so it was like most of the thing i was going to the operation i was paying money by myself to so. work more than hundred thousand euros Dadaba is back at home now mm -hmm. we have seen on social media mm -hmm. him in the midst of young footballers mm -hmm. at home do you have an academy football academy yeah or? this is my academy i'm trying to build because most of the players here, kids, they they get like grade 11, grade 12, you know, 15, 16 years old, oh. you know, and most of them, they're really good kids. They have their moms there, they're in the garden here, you know, part-time when they're doing school, and they're really good players. So I decided that, you know, I'm living around here, you know, I have a lot of time, you know, sometimes if I don't do nothing, you know, sometimes I have a, a taxi, yeah. sometimes sure. I go to the, you know, to the, to the traffic, you know, mm -hmm. get something for the kids, like fair and everything then come back, you know, if I don't do that, why can't I spend time, you know, developing the kids? Okay. You know, because I remember my first year when I play, they asked me about Demba Njai, Demba Savage, and Paco Kokor, oh. you know, whether I have a good players, you know, those players, they was in my team after okay. one year. So I was able to talk to my team and they make a, the same contract they gave me here, they gave him here, and they come to Finland. Wow. So I'm trying, 
with Allah's help, I hope that the kids they might be lucky, you sure. know, just to have chance that they can help their mom and their, you know, their their family later. Because I always tell them, you know, you remind me about myself, you know, my mom, my family. Nobody doesn't have any money before I go to even in the in the in the bank. But when Allah says something will happen, it will happen. So, you know, so that's what I believe. And now, like uh, you are back at home uh, with with the with the team. That we, like you are a big Lansing holder, I yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the highest, uh, I can say, one of the highest uh, by a Gambian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't you think it's, it will be necessary for Dembaba, uh, for Dauda mm -hmm. to get into more coaching role, advanced coaching role than even all uh, academies? Yeah, yeah. I would really want that, you know, but. You know, in Gambia, it's... Are you ready to take up any first division team or second division? I'm even ready just to take on even under 17, under 20. I can. Of the national side? Uh, yeah, I can. Really? Really. You know, I have the quality, I have the experience, and I can manage the players. You know, but if you look at Dauda maybe 10 years ago, you think that maybe Dauda is Dauda. You know, things changed 10 years ago, you know, because of I've been in the classroom sitting, doing my, you know, your, my b licensing. You know, I've been doing it off the field too, to just to doing some train. Mm -hmm. And I was in America, I was training kids too kids. there. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready. I'm really ready. But I'm not in a hurry to fight with some people place. That's the <laughs> thing that I am not there because of, you know, I want a chance when they're ready to give me a chance. chance. Yeah. All right. To the national side, mm -hmm. you, you played almost a decade. Mm -hmm. But the caps are not that much. Only 11 appearances with the national team. Under which coach did you make your first national debut? I think my first national team debut, I make it international game. I want to ask Sangdong. 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 He was like the sport director because he was having a coach from Sweden, uh, a Swedish coach. You know, he was always like, you know, this the first coach, then some was the sport director. Right. You know, sport director, sometimes you can train the kids, you know, you can train the national team. So yeah. some was like that. So I was like between them. You know, that was my first time. So later on, I played in the, the World Cup qualification game. It was my first international debut against Morocco. Mustafa Haji Naibek, we lose here in one year. Yeah, in 2000, 2001, oh. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was my debut. But after that, I was fortunate that, you know, it pains me every time. It really hurts me, like really. That so you so, once played against Mustafa Hajj? Yeah, I played against. I think I was even playing for Hawks at that time. So I played against Nybeck. You know, so this those things help me even when I go abroad because of all those big names doesn't seem big name to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so that's 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 how I feel like. But it pains me because of everybody knows in Gambia. I came here several times to play. Either they take put me in the bench, either they play somebody who never played for uh, for international play uh, in Europe because of their uh, friends, right. you know, or so they play jersey. So you mean there was injustice in, in selections? That's, everybody or knows it. Card. Everybody knows it. The time I was playing, everybody knows me, especially people usually ask about. Because I tell people that this is why I'm so down to earth. Like, I was so lucky that I was able to be loved with young Gambians. The people who loved me were the young people. You know, and I remember when I was playing this, uh, for Hawks, people wanted just to watch, watch me play uh, uh, football. Sometimes I can be in combos, and they're talking about... Because flat right players always dribble, always in Yeah, but I usually, like, you know, do, like, the next thing, pass, make football, like, easy, you know. I don't care if I score, you know, but I care, like, the passing in front of me has to score because that's my job for him to score. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Ba. Before we end this special interview, uh, we have seen the campaign is on. Some other ex players are endorsing Sadibu Kamaso, others are endorsing the incumbent. Is people, are, I think, are very worried about the upcoming Congress of GFF. Some are saying Kaba should continue, some are saying Sadibu should be given chance. What is Dembaba, Daudaba rather, take on the upcoming Congress of GFF? Uh, for me, I think that you know it's high time, especially the the ones who have been there past 15 years, 20 years. You know, we don't tell them to go out. You know, they can give chance, but they can still assist them. The young ones. The young ones. You know, we don't tell them just to just to just to okay, we want Saribo and you guys go. No, 
but like I'm talking to you, sometimes I have an assistant coach who is helping because I don't own my, you know, my. I can my wake up one soul. day, you are soul. I can wake up one day and I just, you know, something happens to me. Mm -hmm. So wh why these elders, they are there. They don't want to improve people. You know what I mean? When they are not there, people will run before we've been here now. Because we were, we were never supposed to be here. For me, what I want to tell, you know, they can give Sadiq a chance, but they can assist Sadiq at the same time. You know, everybody want to see changes because of I'm so angry of GFA because of our games we've been playing for Senegal. It pains me. Even if we have fans who are uh, traveling. traveling, but what about we have 30, 40,000, 50,000 people who are, who, are, who are watching our games in, uh, Bacow. in, in Bacow? What's the stadium between Bacow and Chess? Yes. What's the difference? In fact, independent stadium is bigger than... And, and what's, the, what's the difference? Don't tell me that uh, these people, they cannot renovate this, this, this ground. They cannot put like uh, these toilets and it change everything. They cannot. And how many thousands of thousands of dollars you're going to pay for to play? And how many thousands of thousands of dollars are our Gami and sisters and brothers and youngers and everybody have to pay and just take this journey every time to Senegal. So this, that pains me. So I want to see changes. I want to see something different. I want to see, like when I was playing in Gambia, you know, we have a training game for the national team. It's full of Gambians who are cheering. I want to see them, they do that for the young players, for the, for the national team players. So I don't tell so Kaba, Kaba just to, to go, but I want them to put Saribu there so they let them assist him. Show them the way because of they've been there for 20 years. So when they are not there, Saribu will run and Saribu will go to When he have, he will train somebody. Somebody will run later. But we shouldn't be here. My brother, I just have to pick, pick a side. So for you, you endorse Saribu? Yeah. You would yeah. like Saribu to... Yeah. But I would like them for the for the for the older people down, let them assist him. Give him show them all the lights he needs. Open the doors for him. You know, the 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 the, the things that he needs to to get uh, involved with car, FIFA, whatever. Let make it happen for him, for the interest of the nation. Yes. Not the interest of Sadibu or Kaba or Dauda or anything, but for the interest of the Gambia. I would really wanna see that. Thank you very much, Mr. Ba, for speaking to LBD Sports Agency. Thank you, Oscar. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, sir.